Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Scribblefix. Today I am doing another collaboration with um, someone on YouTube called Ollie Mueller, I believe. Um, I may have pronounced that wrong, I'm not sure. But yeah, but yeah, he's a, a YouTuber, an artist like myself, and he's got lots of awesome, like, kind of interesting artworks on YouTube and also on Instagram. His art is really interesting and he does reviews and, you know, little tutorials and um, cute illustrations that I really like and some really cool ones too. Um, he contacted me on Instagram to ask for a collab, so here we are. We have decided to do an art off kind of one. So basically we both draw a similar subject and you guys can vote to see who kind of wins the art off. Of course, it's just for fun, so it's not like a crazy, you know, whose art is better. It's just a cool little um, collaboration and I'm pretty excited to show you guys. So we both decided that we were going to be drawing centaurs. He asked me what we should draw and we came up with a few ideas, but um, I was really excited to draw a centaur, so. That creature has been on my list of um, mythical creatures that I've been wanting to draw for a long time. So I jumped at that opportunity to draw one and here we are. Of course I wanted to do something different. A lot of the time I, I would google, you know, centaur images and a lot of them would be fairly similar. A lot of them male, some female. But um, I kind of wanted to put my own little spin on it. So, like a lot of my art, this is very um, feminine and pretty. And I wanted to emphasize a different kind of side to the centaurs. So here is my piece. I have been um, sketching it um, and then I scanned it and printed it out a little bit larger and then I refined that earlier and I'm using my light box to ink it onto another piece of paper. I use this process a lot in a lot of my artworks and I kind of really enjoy the process to be, to be honest. I use mostly coloured line art for this piece. I used um, a lot of my Sakura pink liner mainly for the hair and then I used the wine one which is a sort of purpley color for the flowers in her hair and the sepia one for the rest of her body and her face. I did use the black one sparingly just for her uh, eyelashes and yeah I'm fairly happy with the line art. And then after that I went over it and colored in the hair mostly with a uh, pale pink I believe. I really love this colour. Um, I've been using it lately in a few of my artworks and it's a very very nice very light kind of cotton candy pink and it's I don't know it's just I really like it. For the eyes I used light crockery blue and then night blue. Now for the rest of her body I did go over it in mostly I believe uh, raw silk don't quote me on that but I first off I did the whole body including the um, the bottom part and I don't know at first it kind of looked a little bit odd to me because um, it was the same color as her skin and you couldn't really like there was no texture or anything so it did look a lot like um, <laughs> like a bold horse and I was like mm, I don't know it was just a bit odd to me so Eventually I went over the bottom half again just to kind of um, show more of a difference between the human half and the, the horse part. So yeah. <laughs> now, for those people who have um, come over from Ollie's channel, um, welcome. Um, my name is Sarah and I'm an artist. I live in Australia. And yeah, I do lots of lots of like Copic um, illustrations, a lot of Pokemon fan art, but a bit of fantasy in there as well. 
so yeah I hope you enjoy my channel just have a look around and you know say hi to me I'm, I'm very friendly and yeah now for the um, bottom part of the horse I, I was looking up different patterns of horses and um, I, I came across a few that were fairly speckly kind of patterned and I really liked that um, it kind of reminded me a bit of freckles so I decided to do a kind of speckly uh, pattern on the bottom part and some of her arms and do a little bit on her face and neck and they would like kind of turn into freckles and now for the bottom part as I said earlier I'm going over it in a different color and this is mainly to kind of um, show a kind of transition from you know human skin to like horse fur obviously because you know centaurs are part horse um, and I really wanted to like make sh make sure it was apparent that she's not like like she's uh, she has fur on her bottom part so after I added the uh, honey color over in a layer over the um, horse part I decided to get my pencils out and I went over with tiny little strokes um, to show kind of fur texture and to be honest when I went over that um, part with the fur texture it kind of it gave it what I thought it needed because yeah it kind of just made it very apparent that it was like part animal and I used a darker orange than the um, color of the horse part and then I also used a very light yellow and some white and those are just for the little little shadow and highlights because of the fur and yeah it, I'm quite happy with how that part turned out and also after that I just went over um, around the outside of the horse and parts other parts just to have shadows like and um, I mean highlights after that I decided I wanted a, a slightly simple background but I wanted the background to differ very much from the foreground obviously so in the foreground there's lots of light warm colors so the background is a lot of cool uh, dark colors now just for some of the backstory of this piece um, this particular centaur is a, a kind of royal kind of uh she's a, she's a future queen basically of her herd and she's up very early in, in the morning because it's actually she's about to get married and yeah the the person the centaur that she's marrying is um going to be her future uh king slash you know partner to rule with she's a very um very lovable uh, centaur and all the other centaurs in the herd adore her and she's going to make an amazing ruler and yeah it's kind of like her little story part a lot of the time I like to add a little bit of a story to each one of my artworks just because I don't know it makes me feel a bit more um, attached to each piece I think So yeah, we're about to wrap up this video and I hope you guys enjoyed this artwork. I loved making it and thank you so much Ollie for, um, you know, reaching out to me and collabing with me. It was a lot of fun. Um, definitely go check out his video guys because I am so excited to see what he's doing. Make sure you like my video if you, um, if you enjoyed and go and like his video too. And we will see who wins the art off. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, click subscribe, check out my other videos, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.